I made the mistake of telling my wife her bathing suit was a bit tight. So now I'll probably never get to borrow it again. Women. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. Um, today, I'm, I'm quite excited. I know you can't tell because I'm Scandinavian and this is excited, as excited as we get. Right? But, <laughs> but I am pretty excited. Um, uh, a guy I've been chatting with who's uh, a subscriber and a viewer to the channel uh, picked up on a video I made in February where I said oh, I'm running out of uh, layers and uh, he said that's okay I'll, I'll send it to you I said wow yeah that's that's really cool because the where I've been purchasing it from before um, in the US somewhere don't send it anymore so I couldn't really find it in Europe in a, in a good way so I said that's really kind let, let me know what the shipping is and uh, I'll send you I'll, I'll send you that at least because he wanted to to give the theirs away and he said yeah and don't worry about it it's 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 my uh, it's my my pleasure and he said and I, I hope it's okay if, if I share it he, um, his name is John Lyne um, and he watches a few other uh, YouTubers as well, maybe many. He said uh, his uh, father just passed away and he came across my channel and it was a bit of a comfort, but clearly not because of my sentimental side, but uh, watching stupid things on, uh, on YouTube uh, can be good as well when you need a bit of a distraction. So he wanted to do this as a... Uh, as, as a kind gesture, which which is pretty cool. So he said, he said I'll, I'll, I'll send this and I may say, send something else from Chicago as well. It's from Chicago. So, so I got the package today and <laughs> wow, it's pretty incredible. So he did send the Thayers, which, uh, which I, where's the light, which I very much appreciate. So thank you for that. He also noticed on another video I was running out of Aquavelva Sensitive 5-in-1, which is my very favorite of the Shea Balm. Um, so he sent that too. He, and he knows I like Stetson, so he sent Stetson as well, which is, you know, wow. Sorry. Um, and then he sent a few things from Chicago. So I got a soap, this one. I have this out auto lock thing, so I don't know how this... Let's take that away, I apologize. See if that's better, yeah. Kells Original Handcrafted Shaving Soap. Doesn't focus very well. So this is uh, aloe, ultra aloe blend arabian spice it's a glycerin soap and i don't know if you get this but it's very glycerin so you you, uh, you can you see the bottom and it smells it smells a lot like casablanca where i've been many times it's my imagination arabian spice too but it, it, it actually smells like the hyatt downtown and in the lobby so wow I checked out this soap and it, it got some pretty good reviews although it was quite some time ago um, Sharpologist so our, our godfather gave it a 9 out of 10 which is pretty impressive and then two soaps from Sweet Comb Chicago this one, which is uh, made with coffee, mint, and beeswax. It's a beeswax soap. Smells absolutely phenomenal. Uh, coffee and mint. And another one, which is sort of the, I guess, the original, which is made with pure natural beeswax. And I'll, I'll show you the cool thing now. <laughs> one of the cool things is made from beeswax and, and different kinds of parts of that process that's honeycomb 
<laughs> Isn't that fantastic? I know this is not new, but uh, or the soap is new, but the, the brand's been around, but very rarely see the soap in, in reviews in Shape of the Day and and you and it, it smells beeswax if if you have a bit of imagination. Lemon. It's just wow, look at that, and it's beautiful. It's a hard pack too. It's a hard soap. So and this got really good reviews from quite a few people. And then finally this also made in Chicago. I didn't know it was from Chicago. This is Oleo Soapworks, which I've heard a lot of good things about. And you do see soaps from this this maker, made in Chicago. Um, El Caball Caballero, Caballero. If that's Spanish, that's what it looks like. And this this smells like. Ah. It's got bay rum. It has a bit of musk and a little bit spicy too. I think it said it had um, bergamot in it, but it smells like a perfume or a cologne, cologne type scent, I guess you would say. So that's what we're using today. <laughs> and wow. And he sends a little note as well says uh, he's from Chicago and he likes ice hockey like I do. Hope you find these soaps well. If not, take your hockey stick to them. So stick to the pack. John, wow. Crazy. Clearly you're emotionally distressed. <laughs> Otherwise, this is the, the most amazing thing anyone's ever sent to me. So thank you so much. I, really appreciate it. John Line is now my, my favorite viewer. Um, so if you want to be my favorite viewer, send me nicer things than he did. Now there's a thought. Don't. So, wow. <laughs> this, wow. And it's all good stuff too. It's not just any stuff. It's, it's all good stuff. Anyway, very long uh, video this. I, I just wanted to show you this. We'll be doing these Chicago soaps now for a while. Maybe not in a row, but we will be doing them. And we're starting today. Philharmonica, 13. Stainless steel. And the, uh, the awesome brush from Mary and the Barbarian. The certified, we think it, it's called. Wooden handle, rubber... Um, whatever this is, and uh, synthetic nut, nut, not in it. Okay, let's get cracking. Got the face wet, we'll get the brush wet as well. It is syn synthetic, so it doesn't have to, to soak, although some people soak anyway. I think Paul H soaks his synthetic brushes. I don't know why. Okay, so we're doing this and it, it's like popping the cherry of of your new girlfriend when you... That's an unnecessary analogy. Okay, so first time obviously using this soap. First time ever using Oleo Soap Works. So we'll see what that is. This is a duck fat soap. Actually, ingredients are here. God only knows if you can see that. So I'll read them. Stearic acid, water, cocoa and butter, potassium hydroxide, palm kernel oil. I know what that is. Duck fat, sodium hydroxide, castor oil, jojoba oil, glycerin, fragrance, and sodium lactate. So it's tallow and glycerin. Ooh. It's probably very slick. So loading this. Not quite sure how to. It's not one of those super soft soaps. It looks super soft, but it isn't. And I, a lot of really good soaps are very soft. I just don't, 
understand why. Why aren't they? Why aren't they hard? Well, typically, well, typically, what do I know? Sara, the Swedish witch, says one of the things that that decides or dictates the hardness of a soap is the mix of sodium and and potassium hydroxide in the soap. So this, I won't go into chemistry. This was one of them and you can mix them. And that, that tells you quite a, oh, a lot of water. It tells you quite a lot about the hardness. So some really hard soaps are not triple mill soaps because triple mill soaps are never done never made by an artisan they are made by a factory where you you process the soap three times basically and and you make it hard on purpose so it keeps well travels well um, so that it's well concentrated. So I, I loaded this soap, I put it on my face. I am adding water. Oh, I do like the scent. And you can already see the, the sheen on that. So duck, so I guess a duck died to make this. I have a feeling she did not die in vain. And the synthesizer who died making the synthetic brush did so. Okay, we'll do a bit of splaying here. See what happens. She is a thirsty one. You can tell she's gonna want a she. In this case, is the soap, which I guess is a he because it's El Cabajero which is Spanish and means, I don't know, caballero. caballero, gentleman? I don't know. What does caballero mean? And am I saying it correctly? So yeah, it was cool. When John said he would send something from Chicago, obviously I thought it was a handgun. It turns out it was soap. Which I appreciate because I'm. I've uh, I've actually never fired a handgun in my life. I think. What? I've never killed anyone. Where I live, you don't have to kill people very often. Sorry. Hello? 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 Okay. That was my sister. I think the phone's connected to the head, the th AirPods, which I didn't buy. I got them as a present. They're crazy expensive. I would never spend that money on myself. This is going well. This is a good soap. Wow. Was I saying something? Oh yeah, handgun. Yeah, that was a bad joke. I apologize. And um, recent events and everything. Sorry. Sorry, people of Chicago. Totally uncalled for. So. So I added even more water. Oh, look at that. Can you, can you see how pretty that is? Oh, it's shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny people. I won't sing it because then Chris Bailey will tell me I'm going to get another copyright strike. Apparently you can't play music or show art or do anything that that you didn't come up with yourself on YouTube, which is, which is funny because 
in the real world outside YouTube? No one ever comes up with any thing on their own, do they? Well, I guess YouTube want to be special. You know, you, when you get the soap on your lips, that's when, that's when oftentimes you can tell what the post shave feel will be. I haven't analyzed this. I just, it just occurred to me that there is a correlation. No, yep. taste is not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I've been outside in the, in the garden all day doing pretty heavy work. Well, my wife and my son were out as well. Philharmonica 13, stainless steel on the Caballero. Wow. Yeah, and it wasn't very sunny. But it wasn't raining. But it's windy really windy so the feel the face you can feel having had wind on your face just feels you feel blown away blown out wow this is slick stuff and the skin gets a bit dry you know if you put on a soap which isn't moisturizing it's gonna come off it's two and a half percentage points to dry so whatever whatever moisture content percentage there is it's two and a half percent too dry which doesn't really matter when it comes to the shave it's just a uh, yeah, it's just fun to be able to get it off the razor. So if you have a soap which isn't, which is drying rather than moisturizing, you can feel it on the face when it's when the skin is dry. And also I didn't drink enough water. Been sweating all day, it's very heavy, a lot of digging. And that, you know, if you don't dry, if you don't drink enough or rehydrate enough, skin gets dry. Shave is less good. Drink water. People, I think beer works too, at least. What I tell myself. Wow, good, good stuff. Good Oleo soap works from Chicago. Never been to Chicago. Well, I changed planes there once and I had to stay the night, but I stayed in a hotel close to the airport and wasn't very interesting, so I didn't see anything of Chicago. I've heard good things, actually. A bit of shooting, but also good things. And uh, I've heard it's a pretty cool town to, to be on vacation in, to, to have steak dinners. Obviously a lot of sports too. So yeah, I mean the hockey, hockey would have been cool. Hockey in Chicago. Chicago was one of the founding six members of the NHL, I think. I always get them wrong. New Rangers, Boston, Chicago, Montreal, want to say Toronto. How many was I, there? Were six? That was not six. I'm forgetting someone. Blackhawks, um, the 
Detroit. I think maybe Detroit. Anyway, I'm pretty sure Chicago was one of them. Second pass. So that would have been cool. Or, or the Bulls. Or the, what is it, White Sox? I, sh I should know, shouldn't I? Very nice and very much of this, uh, you know, it's slick. I'm trying to think if I had duck fat before. To eat, obviously. Duck is great. Canard in French. Oh, there is like hard to do this. Oh yeah, uh, declaration grooming. That's duck fat, I think. That was one of my favorite soaps before I killed it. I need some more declaration grooming. That was like putting cream on the face. I love, I love the feeling of cream on the face. Cream on the face. Candle wax on the head. That's how we roll. I have to mention one thing. I shouldn't, but I will anyway. I'm, I'm putting my hand underneath here to tort the skin. That's almost the only stretching I do. Well, it's hardly stretching. I mean, I, I start like this, but that's maybe so people don't comment that I don't stretch enough. Do I care? I don't know. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> there's this movie uh, from Marvel about some hero that I've never heard of from a long time ago, right? So uh, I, I don't know what his strength is. <laughs> I could imagine. So his name is K Knall, I think. K-N-U-L-L. Knall. <laughs> It's, it's funny because that word means something very particular in Swedish. You go Google that. K-N-U-L-L. -L. What is that? <laughs> you, you tell your, your wife and kids now. <laughs> oh, I'm so childish. I'm gonna go watch the new Knoll movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, John. This is your shave. I, I, I just had to comment it at some point. Your dinner is ready. Something's been cooking on the stove all day, all day. So, so 
sound to be good. We don't want to miss that. So we're not doing any pickups. I don't think we need to. I'm going to rinse. Ah, look, I got myself oh, the bloody OC. <laughs> Tricky. I'm going to rinse and be back. Okay, we're back. So we're back with a magic made by witches, as says Chris Bailey. I am CDB, so we're doing a bit of that. Miss this stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is an astringent toner. It makes you pretty. Well, makes your skin good anyway. So there's, yeah, I've missed it. I, I've been saving a little bit, a little bit. Um, and I wasn't sure I was going to get this. This was sent, yeah, I didn't say. This was sent by John originally on the 2nd of March and today is July 8th or something and then he got it back for some reason I don't know why after shave in it maybe so he sent it again on the 3rd of April and it arrived today 8th if it is the 8th 8th of July so a very long time you know what I'm gonna put a bit of Stetson on and you know what this is gonna sound like BS but it is, an, it is a pretty damn good match with this soap. Hmm. Spicy and sweet in one. Not at all perfect uh, or identical match, but uh, a good match, a good match. Ah, this stuff smells good. <laughs> Thank you, John. That was a big surprise. And you know what? I always put a balm on. So as soon as this dries, I'm gonna put my favorite balm on as well. This has a scent, a lovely scent, which I'm, I'm not sure I've tried it with Stetsons, because obviously the Thayer's is unscented. But, um, it goes away very, very, very quickly. It's a nice scent. Oops. And this Aqua Velva 5. I'm not a big fan of the aftershave splash of this scent, but this, this smells differently. Wow, that was good. That was a good shave. John, my friend, I'm floored. By your generosity I, I really am those are some amazing things so wow a big thank you big thank you to John a big thank you to all of you who've been watching we'll do more of these Chicago soaps uh, pretty soon thank you and uh, as always stay sharp